Hello and welcome to Flutas. In this tutorial, we're gonna be making a wavy geometric animated shapes inside of After Effects. And this time we're gonna use two shapes and an adjustment layer with a bunch of effects. And as always, before we start, you can download the project file and other project files for my tutorials on Patreon, link down in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click and create a new solid right here. I'm gonna give it a color, I already have a color, so I'm gonna just copy and paste it, click OK, then click OK right here. Then we're gonna lock this because this is just the background. Then what we're gonna do is gonna create a shape, and to create that we have to go to the, our pen tool. Then we're gonna create like a shape like this, and change the first the color. gonna create a shape like so like a wavy shape it doesn't matter how it looks like just create a random shape right here let's change the color to the colors I have here so I have the same result I as I showed you in the first place you can choose whatever colors you want, it depends on whatever project you're working on. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an effect called Waver. Drag and drop it on our shape. Then I'm gonna change uh, the pin into all edges, so it doesn't show this right here. Let me show you before. You see these dots right down below? You can just change the pin into all edges and it all disappear. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the wave type to triangle. Then I'm going to change the wave, the wave height to 106. And the wave width to 700. You can change this to whatever works for you. We already have a result like so. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the face right here to 140. Then what I'm going to do is just going to add a gradient ramp. Like so. I'm going to drag it to our shape. I'm going to change the colors to whatever I have. You can do the colors you want. Then I'm going to add an effect called fast blur. So I'm going to change the blur radius to 90. And we're gonna keep the iteration to 3. And we're gonna change the blur dimension to horizontal instead of uh, both. And also, we're gonna check the repeat edges pixels. This will give us uh, a send field, a send animation field. Then we're gonna duplicate the shape, the same one. And we're gonna change the color on the gradient ramp. We're gonna change the start one only. And we're gonna change the face to zero instead of one for it. So now we have variation of two shapes, one in the bottom and one on the top, as you can see. Then the next step is to create an adjustment layer. So right click, new, and adjustment layer. The first effect we're gonna add is CC Griddle. And this effect is what you're gonna give us the result that we were looking for, the triangles effect. So you're gonna drag this effect to our adjustment layer. Uh, and it's gonna do nothing because we have to play with the settings. So we're gonna change the horizontal scale to 170. And we're gonna change the ver vertical scale to 420. And you're gonna ask me why I'm choosing these settings because I already tried these effects and I have settings for what I'm doing so you have to play with settings to whatever fits for you I'm gonna change the tile size to 5.3 so this affects the edges like you see to get rid of the edges you're gonna play with the tile size so you don't have these black edges on the background right here and we're gonna keep the cut tile and we're also gonna change the rotation to one for you 
The rotation just affects the triangles to go from horizontal to vertical as you can see. So we're gonna keep it one for you. And we already have a result. You can stay on this result that we have here. But I'm gonna go ahead and add more effects for what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna add the mirror. Gonna drag this out. You can change the anchor point right here to fit uh, to the center, but to do that easily, you're gonna do it using math. So you're gonna divide this by two. So 1920 divided by two, and it's automatically put it in the center. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to our shapes right here. I'm gonna drag these points for customization, like so. You can have whatever shapes you want. I'm gonna change these so it doesn't look the same. So then I'm gonna duplicate my mirror again. And I'm gonna reset it. Then I'm gonna change the reflection angle to 90. And we are already looking for our result. So if you want a more customization, you can go back to your shape and add an effect called scatter. What this effect does it just gives you this as you can see if we increase this it's gonna give you this like noise effect to it so I'm gonna change this to 500 and we're gonna change the grain to horizontal instead of both and I'm gonna check the random every frame I'm gonna copy this and paste it to the second shape and as you can see, that's what it does. It gives you like a noise effect on the shapes. As you can see when I disable it like this, it disappears. This is just for customization. You can do whatever you want. Also, you can add an effect called invert. And this will give you more customization if you're looking for. Like this one, this one looks good. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want to download the project file as always, you can download it from the link in the description from my Patreon. And as always, find what makes you happy and make that your life. See you.